these bags that are going in, they are uh, styrofoam and cardboard gathered from the streets of Port-au-Prince. They're just covered with styrofoam and cardboard. And uh, we had uh, the Haitians go out and gather them, and uh, we bagged them up in rice bags, and then and we put in the rice bags full of the styrofoam and cardboard inside black plastic bags just to seal it better. And now it's looking from, it is working, it's going to work great, it's insulation. It's going to make this building really not collect any sun from the heat from the, from the sky and keep it really cool. And we've also created a, 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 a dual-pointed uh, sword here. Uh, we can now put out a bounty, so to speak, on uh, rice bags full of torn-up cardboard and styrofoam. And with, you know, talking to them about it should be clean and so on. And we can give a price. So we can be paying the people of Port-au-Prince to be cleaning up their streets and creating insulation. It's a, it does, it is working, it's gonna work. Today we arrived and we had some rebar well, I guess all the rebar work was done on the bird cage, and then uh, we did a uh, hardware cloth up underneath, chicken wire on top, tied all that stuff on so it could support the plaster. Our, our, uh, oh, insulated. our crew, yeah, uh, shredded up um, styrofoam containers, like takeout boxes, bagged it in the rice bags like those, and then bagged it again into uh, plastic bags, and that was our insulation, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Brian got a little window frame in there. Uh, also, we and got this gutter happening here, uh, which will drain from the top of the window around both sides to the tank. Um, out front here, um, Mike and his team finished digging the hole for the septic. Uh, this is the septic tank. It's a stack of five tires lined with plastic um, and with a little dome on top with the same the same way we did that dome. And that cardboard is where the where the toilet drain will go. And then they have an overflow here. So that all got done today. They built this little arch, which is going to be the entry. They got bottles going around the tank, more bottles going around the tank. Brian got a door frame in here. And he's building a door right now at the, uh, uh, in the shop up, up there. Um, didn't do much inside the building. Uh, then these guys also got this little room going. And this is the shower. Did a little arch entry. They poured a footing. And they have a uh, plastic bottle of bricks going on this. So that'll be pretty cool. Light will come in while you're taking a shower. Uh, and you'll get your water from this spigot right here to just do a bucket shower, which is what they do here anyway. That will also be where you get the water to just flush the toilet with a bucket. Um, and that's about all we did today. Thanks, buddy. That was a good day. All right. This right here, I've got one 25 years old, and it ha it's been pumped once. And this is where you live on Canyon. Yeah, in the Hobbit House. 25 years old and pumped once, just like this. Yeah. Well, Shit right into it. Shit right into it. Hopefully, you I got mean, a this space alone. If you could just get this to be replicated in '80. Yeah, this is a sewage system. A, in a, a contained sewage system that's fucking dirt cheap. How much of materials end up total being spent here? Uh, Even if we got rid of the toilet, just made it a hole that couldn't do it. Oh, probably get it for two or three hundred dollars. And and if they did these all over, just yeah, forget everything else. If they did these all over Haiti, shit would be contained and it would be growing plants. 
And uh, how many people can one of these service if we really want uh, the whole botanical itself? Oh, I'd say we're going to try and limit this to half a dozen people exactly. with the water and the power and everything. You know. exactly I'm sure more will use it. We're having an overflow in case. So.